Welcome to the cinema. No mobile phones. No talking or toddlers. And please, be considerate to your fellow moviegoers. No masturbating. Now sit back and enjoy the show. has changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. <coughs> Much that once was is now lost. It began with the forging of the great rings. Six were given to the wisest and fairest of all beings. For within these rings were bound great humility and strength, and they possessed great powers. But another ring was made, in the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom. The ring for the sex lord D was forged in secret. A master ring to control all others. And into this ring he poured his love, his heart, and his kindness. One ring to rule them all. One by one, women fell to the power of the ring. Many were slayed and victory was near. But the ring became so powerful, it left this earthly plane to go and conquer another realm. History became legend. Legend became myth. Then something unimaginable happened. The ring was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable. A hobbit named Matthew Biggins from the Shire. For the time will come when the hobbits will shape the futures of all. Goes a little something like, Pow! Yo, what up? This is your boy, Mr. Pike. P to the I to the K to the double E. Just lounging. So, a year ago, a good friend of mine, Dave, passed away. And at the time, I did a tribute video in Dave's honour. And today marks a year to the day since he passed. So I thought I would come back to Monseldale, where I remember Dave. And um, this isn't a tribute video, because I did that last year. This is more a remembrance video, to remember my mate a year on. roads. This isn't going to be a sad video. You know, Dave wouldn't want you to be sad. I'm not going to mourn him like I want to. Instead, I choose to celebrate a life well lived. Turn right onto a six ninety. 
arriving at Monsell Headlong Stay on the right. Nobody here but me. This is exactly where I parked a year ago. I'll do the same again this year. And as I said last year, time to get a ticket. Go and do my thing. So I'm making my descent now into Monsell Dale. Gonna walk under that viaduct and back to where I did my Camp David video. It was really sunny on the way in, but all of a sudden it's dropped really dark and start to rain. It gives it a somewhat sombre feel and seriousness to the event of today. And uh, initially I thought David brought the sunshine, but now with it dropping dark like this, it does, it really hits home you know, why I'm here and what's happened and anyway, this weren't gonna be a blooming morbid video. You know, Dave won't want that. So I'll be right when I get a Snickers in me and some hot drink in a bit. But yeah, it's gonna chuck it down. So lucky I've got my raincoat. So I don't get my hair wet. <laughs> okay, so I just made my way down the bottom of that really steep hill and come to this little farm bit and this gate was closed. I wasn't even sure I could get access or even if I should be here. But look at it, there's like a, a latch on it, so I managed to let myself in. I hope I'm alright being here. I just need access across there. I panicked last year when I came here because it doesn't feel like I should be here. It feels like that's somebody's house. I'm just walking through the back garden. But hey, it is where it is and I've got to do it. So I hope it's alright. It's very peaceful here, it's very nice. I bet if you're into fishing, if you like that kind of thing, it'd be lovely. Obviously I miss Dave's friendship, but we're what's called mortal beings, and we're only designed to live a certain lifespan. Dave lived 40 years, so rather than grieving about it, I'm choosing to celebrate a life well lived. And Dave touched a lot of people's lives while he was here, and he touched a hell of a lot of women. You dig? How beautiful is this place?
cleaner beach than Skegness, look. Well nicer too. Cheers. Oh, a year on and we're back and the water is just as loud as ever and that's where I camped and that's where I mourned. I should have brought my tent really. So I'm here today to remember Dave and um, I'm going to put his ashes in this tree. So I was going to plant a tree for David and when I looked into it I found you can't just put a tree anywhere in the outdoors, it affects the, the wildlife, it can bring birds and bees and destroy things, you can't just plant trees willy nilly. So I'm thinking what can I do up here to signify and remember Dave and then I thought there's a perfect tree right here, I might as well use that and I knew there was a hole in it so if you turn around and have a look there's a hole right in the centre of the tree so I'm going to put David's ashes in the tree and this tree, which I could never replicate or beat, that will be the tree of David. And I'll come back here every year. breakfast. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the theme for this year's video is Friendship of the Rings. What does that mean? Well I'm at Camp David spot and I didn't want to do Star Wars again. I nearly did Thundercats. I must admit, I nearly did Thundercats. Um, but the premise of this year's video is to do with this. This is an urn pendant. And inside this pendant um, are David's ashes. And when David passed away, uh, I spoke to his lovely sister, Lindsay. Uh, I said, wouldn't it be nice to have a pendant to keep him nearby? And um, you could put his ashes in it. And it's just a way of keeping him close. And um, she thought it was a great idea, and she says to get one, we'd all have one. And I thought, wow. So I brought every member of Dave's family one, and I was very fortunate that she gave me one too. And it really helped, and I absolutely treasure this more than you know. This is, this is priceless. You can't go to Harrods and ask for 250 gram of D. You can't buy this anywhere on the planet. Uh, I cherish this and I respect it so much, and I guard this with my life. And a lot of people like to think, like I do, that wherever your ashes go, they go. So it always makes me feel good thinking that on all my adventures, and all the things that I get up to, Dave's with me. He's with me right now and he can see, look behind you, he can see everything I can see. I feel like I'm taking him with me everywhere I go on all my adventures. So I really appreciate this. Thank you to Dave's family for letting me have it. And if it's true, that he is with us, that I can guarantee you Dave's having a whale of a time coming around with me. Till next time brother. Okay so David is officially in the tree now and I officially mark that tree, the tree of life, the tree of David. And I'll come back here every year and remember him. So that concludes today's video. I just want to say thank you to Davina for allowing me to come around and see you, have a cup of tea, talk about Dave, I appreciate that. And I'd love to come and see you again as soon as this COVID thing settles down. I'd like to say thank you to Gaynor for that lovely letter you sent me. Really appreciate that, thank you. 
and I'd love to come and see you and stay on your farm again when this Covid thing settled down. I'd like to say thank you to Lindsay. You were really there for me in early days when I was really struggling. I had no information and you really helped put my mind at ease and I, I appreciate you coming to see me and uh, appreciate you allowing me to do these things. It means so much to me and um, thank you so much for what you did for me. Finally, thank you to Maxine. You've been great. I really appreciate the paperweight you brought me. It's on my desk, on my computer desk. I love it. Thanks also for being there and coming to see me and talking about David. I really, really appreciate the information and just having that conversation with you. It helped me a lot. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much. Um, yeah. David's not forgotten. Certainly not by you guys and certainly not by me. And he never will be. I'll leave you with a tree of David.